Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you how to get any old or new R4 card working on your 3DS. So right here, I've got two R4 cards. This one right here works fine, just on my custom firmware, without any software or anything. All I do is plug it in and play. But with this card right here, the um, R4 ITT, I'm not sure if this card is legit, I'm pretty sure it's fake. But whenever I plug this card into my 3DS, it just comes up with nothing, like there's no game in there. So I'll show you guys what it does now, and then I'll show you guys how to fix this problem. So here's the game plugged in. As you can see, it actually just comes up with nothing on the game slot. I can press A on it, and nothing will load at all. Alright guys, so once you're on your computer, you want to head over to the first link in the description. It's going to bring you to the GBA Temp website. And basically what you need to do is you need to scroll down and you want to find this version here. So it's called R4 Cart Launcher, any kernel. So this is the version you want to get. As long as your R4 card has the original software on it, um, this will work. So this works on fake carts like mine, the original R4, um, pretty much, you know, tons of different carts. So just click on that to download the zip file. So once it's downloaded, it downloads very fast. Head over to your downloads folder. From here, what you want to do is just do right click and then extract here. It's going to give you this um, R4 Cart Launcher CIA. So what you want to do, you want to copy that to your 3DS SD card CIA folder. So I'm just going to drag this in. So once it's copied across, you can see it's on there. Now you want to head back over to your 3DS. Okay guys, so before you put your game on or anything, you just want to go ahead and turn your 3DS on. Okay, so now on your 3DS, you want to go ahead and open up FBI. Once you're on FBI, press A on SD, then scroll down to CIAs, press A on that. Now just wait for everything to load in, and then you want to scroll down until you find R4 Cart Launcher. So just press A on that. And what you want to do, you want to do install and delete CIA. So it's going to install, just press A to finish, then press B a few times to go back, and then press start to exit. You're then going to get a prompt to say there's new software on the home screen, and this is what basically what it's going to look like. It's going to look exactly like this, the original R4 logo. So you don't need to worry about that, um, you can pretty much just leave it on your home screen. But what you do need to do now is put in your R4 card that wasn't working before. So here's mine. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in right now. Okay, so as soon as I plug that in, it has now registered the R4 card as working. Um, as you can see, it's come up. It's got a picture of SpongeBob on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press A to test if it works. And there you go, guys. It just boots up like normal. So I'm just going to prove this works. I'm just going to run a game quick. So um, let's just run um, Goosebumps right here. And there you go, everything's working. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.